Hello, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as that U-S-O-A. I hope you're having a great day, and right now, what we are doing is, well, we're just fighting for a war on Mexico. Pretty normal, just American things. But there's a crisis in the world, the Sakhalin Islands. Russia, with the help of France, wants to beat up Japan and Germany. Hmm. Now, they want to acquire the Sakhalin Island, humiliate them, but they also want the Sakhalin Island as well. We have so much infamy right now. Also, um, uh, there's quite a few comments I want to address as well, but right now... Oh, the ja Oh, that's why they're fighting each other. Uh, cool. I mean, they... Oh, they're not our ally. Oh, I have no... Nah, I have a little bit different points, not too much. Do want to take out more Vietnam? So, let's address a couple comments. Wow. Britain. What did you do here? What what happened since I left? This isn't exactly where we left off last time, just because I wanted to see how much more debt I could, like, pay off. So let's address, or begin with that. So, if you remember, last video, I decided to build the Panama Canal. I said, you know what, let's go into debt for six billion, no, no, no not billion, no, billion's too much, six million pounds. And that's why we cannot get that much more money right now. It goes up to 10,000, and then that money is sent to pay off the loan in HPM. There's no way for you to tell, as far as I know, how we can pay it off, or how much more we have left. So it's kind of just, we're just going to be sitting here waiting and just paying off our debt until it's done, until we start getting more money. So it is what it is. So it kind of sucks. And especially with it being the Democratic Party here, you can't really tax more people, poor people, which sucks. I love taxing poor people, I guess. But it is what it is. Anyways, um, next up. Apparently you can look at individual employments by group. Ideology, oh, I got religion, that's cool. Actually, in the United States, most of us are still farmers, laborers, which is cool, craftsmen a little bit, intellectuals, that's not too bad. And like we said yesterday, there's quite a quite a diverse mix of people in the United States. Yeah, some people are assimilating, some people aren't. Russians are becoming Dixies. You're Southern Russians. That's kind of cool. And these people are in Little Rock, Arkansas. Cool. And it, someone else said that they can't wait for me to annex Canada, which also goes into my next comment as well, those two comments. Someone suggested, which I do plan on doing, by late game, going over the infamy limit, which might say, redeem myself for saves coming earlier, because once you go over the infamy, infamy limit, people are just going to go to war with you like crazy, and I kind of want to see that happen, so I can beat the crap out of enemy nations as they try to invade me, and by doing that, I'm just going to straight up like annex all Canadian territories. Like, Canada will be the breaking point in this campaign, where I'm going to just like go ham with my infamy and just take as much as I can. That's really the point. Uh, but to do that, I want to have a lot of little, little mini task forces around my coast so they can deal with enemy navies trying to come in, we can blow up their ships, and just siege down Canada until it's a, basically nothing, until it's all ash, and defeat any armies that do land. So that is my goal for the late game. Right now we can't quite do that. I can't get cruisers, which is like the screen for a late game, because I need level 4 ports, I can't build level 4 ports or naval bases because I don't have enough money, so we gotta pay off our debt so we can build up a massive navy, so then we can go over our infamy limit and say, screw you to everyone. And also the last comment was, go socialist, make Bernie Sanders proud. Uh, I'm kind of okay with that just because, even though it has anti-military and I really don't like anti-military, state capitalism is like the best one you can choose, which I really like. I love full citizenship, state capitalism, protectionism is okay. Uh, but other than that, full welfare state, whatever. I don't mind going socialist. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Right now, our ideology is 36% socialist for the upper house, and same thing for voters' ideology, so we might end up going there. Anyways, let's let time go on. I've talked enough so far in the first four minutes of this video. Let's keep going on. Oh! They accepted the crisis. Oh, come on, Japan. You don't believe in Germany? You're only fifth power in the world. You're fourth. You're third. Germany's number two. You could have won. The American Red Star. I suggest shifting the club. Eh, poor Strata become more socialist. Hey, look at that. Just in time. So we got good minimum wage here in America. Social reforms. We've got great health care. We've got rehabilitation for a penal system. We've got great education. Children are not allowed to work. So do we do minimum safety regulations, which makes factories cost more, but, you know, better maintenance. Hmm. Unlimited work day. <sighs> hmm. Less throughput, RGO output. But we do get more minimum wage. But they already get enough minimum wage. I really don't like pensions. No pensions here for now. No, 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 no. Trinket subsidies. No, no, no. I'm going to go with 14-hour workday. Only a 14-hour workday? Come on, guys. You guys are so weak. Come on, man. Come on. Anyways, how much longer? 
Uh, I was sticking a while because we do have anti-military, so it's taking quite a while to do this, which is okay since we've got time. El Salvador. I really gotta start thinking about these nations in here. Oh, but look at that. America and South America. And we did colonize some parts of South America last time. Ah, oh, Colombia, you are a puppet, as well as Ecuador, as well as Peru, and Bolivia. Chile, you're the, that's a thick Chile. That's thick. That's pretty darn thick. Uh, uh oh, Colombia, you've got some bad boys here, huh? Ah, uh, that's not too bad. Go ahead and do some rebel, rebellious things. Rebellious traitors. Who are these people? Independence rebels? Oh, no, no, no. You won't be put down in the ground. That's where I'm going to put your independence. Hmm. Oh, and we just got another tech. Nice. Cheyenne. Engineers, nice. Come on over down to Annapolis. You guys, I'm going to keep you in DC, just in case we get any rebels. And, uh, probably army techs from Mexico. We're doing pretty well over here. Culture can wait. Commerce, I want to really do commerce and industry. Actually, we're done with industry for now until 1898 for that and 1890. Mm, America. I love America. We need military logistics. I forget why, but we need that. So let's go with military statistics. That'll be good. And right, you know what? I don't like doing this, but just tax the rich. It's I really don't want to do it, but we got to get out of this debt as fast as possible. We only, wait, hold on. We only have three armies here. Uh, Chicago people. Yeah, no. I need you guys down here. We got to get Mexico together. You, me, and Mexico. Mark Wallace, come on down. Oh, is that supply? Oh, we can still put guys there. We might consider making a 60,000 stack, too. I think it's time to do that. So, Shippies. Okay, not too bad. Okay, never mind. They're not looking great. Mm, level 4 port. I'm going to raise this just a little bit more. Where are we? Oh, let's go ahead and raise the budget. Oh, budget, 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 budget. We probably don't need full support here. Nice. Go to war by mid-November next year, so... Give our guys some time, get some more supplies. We've got genius genres. Uh, the UK's at war, but what else is new? Supply 68%. Let's go wait and see what happens. We have no more money. Gurkha's Ascadis Tirolures. Uh, yeah, more prestige. 68% goes up to what? Also, I do have a cup of not the most American drink, but it's some Earl Grey tea. It's good stuff. First tractor in Oklahoma. Nice. 68% goes up to 72. Not much better, to be honest with you. <laughs> Give us one more month and then we'll go to war. I want to lower that infamy even more. We might even be able to take two states, actually. If we do this correctly. Or, we can just go ahead and take out Chile. They're allied with... Hmm. 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 I think, I think it's time for Venezuela. I could take another state. Or, I can make him our puppet. Mm, oh, our infamy went up a little bit. Oh. Huh. I don't want to do that yet. We'll wait a little bit. And, shippies. You're looking good enough. We got four armies down here. That should be good enough. Let's see. Oh, actually, you're right here. So, we're going to send you down here. Yeah, give me one more month. Why not? One more month. You guys are down there. Nice. Oh, oh, we have another army over there, too. Awesome. Monitors, stuff like that. And good enough. Let's go to war. Actually, which... Hold on. Before we go to war, we got to figure out which tile we want. Probably Durango. They do have some precious metals. That's nice. Uh, actually, region-wise. So, the Durango's up here. Durango looks pretty nice. Oh, we could get Veracruz, though. Does Veracruz have anything interesting? Not really. Yeah, let's get those precious metals. Durango would be pretty good. Our state of Durango. Do I want to call my allies in Brazil, Colombia, Russia? Not really. We'll be fine by ourselves. I might mean, call in Colombia so that we'll be in a war together. I'll call in my puppets. I don't want to call in Russia. Nice. And I'm doing that just because we might... There we go. We're increasing the relations with our allies anyway, so that's always good. Nice. Whether they liked you or not. Nice. Tampico. All right, tight tighty, and we've done it. And we've done this twice, I think, in this campaign already. So just thank you, thank you very much. Ah, uh, money. Who needed money? No debts right now. We got some better army supply consumption. Let's get some military logistics. Uh, right now, I was trying to get some more liberal support in New York, but I think socialism is kind of winning at this point. You guys, I'm trying to get more soldiers. Uh, let's take a good look at New York. New York, never been. I kind of want to go someday. I probably will go someday. I've been here, though. All the way to Boston. Boston was really cool. 
Really old, really cool. Zoning is terrible in some places. <laughs> oh, history. Cool. Where are you guys headed to? I'll let you guys stay there for now. Uh, yeah, they got some armies moving down, so we're gonna just kind of stay in place for now. Get you guys down here. Oh, air oh, we can get air. We discovered airplanes in 1885. What? Wait, hold on. Seriously? Is there anything here? Ter we can find terrorism. Wow. Okay. But uh, we discovered right and language airplanes. <sighs> Shnikes, sons. Shnikes. I mean, this is literally almost 20 years ahead of time. But hey, American innovation. This is this is capitalism. Yeah, innovation. Yeah. Now let's take, let's kill off some more Mexicans. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, America, I love you. Uh, yeah, of course, Ecuador. Of course, we're buddies. We're buddies, butterinos. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, don't go in there while they're doing that. Oh, that's not good. Nice. Go and come. Ah, uh, you might. You should be able to do that pretty darn well. Nice. You guys come down there. You guys come down there. We'll take out that guy soon enough. Oh, we should up there. Oh, uh, I don't want to take him in the mountains. No, 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 no. We'll attack these guys soon enough, maybe. Let me go that way. Let's see what happens. Oh, and you guys stop doing that. You know what? What if we both attacked here? Now nah, we go down Honduras. Yeah, with, we should be getting some... No supports? No? Okay, well, whatever. Factory cost? Nice, I like that. You should be able to win here with, like, that. Good. Tampico. You guys come that way. You guys take Mexico City. Excelente. Nice. Drop them. Cool. And come over here. Ah. Very good. Here it is. You know what? Send both of you guys this way. Mexico City's ours. New store. Took over one tile, but no one cares. Because we keep taking more tiles. Very nice. You guys are down that way. Guadalajara. Uh, jungles. You should be done soon. Nice. Oh, come on. You guys got this. Nice. Got rid of them. Please stop doing that. Nope. Nope. Very nice. Very nice. More prestige. Thank you. Good. And Mexico says... White piece, who the hell you think you is? Mm-mm. Get out of peace, or make a peace as soon as possible so that we can go back to war later on as quickly as possible. You guys go there. You guys can come over here, hang out, have a good time. Nice, we have no money, but whatever. Just American things. Just raise the debt ceiling. That's all we have to do. I am going to send you back to Chicago. You never know what might happen. You guys can see it. Oh, you need an infantry. Ah, make it a guard. Uh, maybe not Panama City, though. Lexington. Good. Tea time. So, let's go ahead and lower how much we're spending on the military for now. Um, yeah, we can lower construction costs, too. Something like that. Just so that we can pay off the six gazillion debt faster. Ah, we're back at peace. And people love us. They love us. So next up, hmm, Venezuela. It's definitely got to be Venezuela next. You guys. Oh, I have an arm another army up there. Nice. You guys just stay up there. That's fine. All right. Oh, hello. You have rebels. Ah, socialists. Oh, very good. Very nice. If that's a case. Let's look at the world. Improve relations with the Tory party in the UK. The French are the French. Oh, they have Serbia under them. Pan-Slavic, conservative. And, good. And actually, let's double check. What is my relationship with? Ah, not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Not great, but not bad. Argentina's looking pretty thick. Chile got, oh. This part of Patagonia. 
That's cool. Lower our infamy, and then we'll go back to war with Venezuela. We'll go to war with them. Military logistics, very nice. Beautiful. Who is that? Cost I'm sorry, Costa Rica. You're going to be taken out soon enough later, too. Commerce time. Army influence, scientific management. Eh, let's do that, because we can. It doesn't cost that much. It won't take too long. New stores in Kansas City. Cool. Actually, could I take out these guys? How much would it take? Protectorate. Oh. Huh. Alright, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do, my friends. If that's a case, though. Where's that boat? Ah, there's the boats. Found the boats. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, which I actually read before. I pre kind of prefer that over Tom Sawyer, I think. It's been a while. So in 1885, Mark Twain, also known as Samuel Clemens. I don't remember. I don't know how I remember that, but published The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and completely revolutionized American fiction. Up until its publication, American fiction had tended to use or utilize the form of language of its European predecessors. Mark Twain fired a shot in the name of linguistic independence by beautifully depicting the speech of the American illiterate and disenfranchised. The book was clearly an attempt to show how people of all kinds are worthy of respect due to their actions and not their status. At the time, it caused an uproar because of its unconventional form and its theme was mostly ignored. Even today, people seem to miss the point. Well, then I'll go to hell. So be it. Hmm. Very nice. I remember I really enjoyed reading that book. Oh, good. Oh, Ashanti. Okay. Chester Berry is dead. Uh, would you like an alliance? Okay, never mind. Never mind, my son. Never mind. Look at that money. And we lost it. And we lost it. Oh, yeah. We're trying to influence Canada. Well, we're just trying to get them out of the UK sphere for now. Actually. Oh, look at that. Venezuela. Um. Sorry, Venezuela. We're not going to do that. Ah, oh, telephones. Cool. Oh, Russia's at war with the... Ottomans, what's going on here? Serbia defaults, better pay their debts. So we got Serbia and Russia versus Bulgaria, Ottoman Empire, Austria-Hungary, we got Infamy, and Belgium. War of Russian control over Bukhara. French Watara. Oh, who, who, who the, what the? The Swiss, Swedish Congo? What the heck? What is it, what the, what the, huh? The British are there. I don't think I can invest in anywhere else. Yeah, it's not 1890 yet, so. It is what it is. Any other points? Sorry, Puerto Rico. You are going to be straight up annexed by me later. Nice. Let them kill each other off. And now that's the case. No one wants to stay in Russia. No one wants to stay in Europe. But look at America. Hmm. 3,700, 3,600 people a month. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, we get this one. It'll cost 4,000. That's not bad. And... Let's make sure we get, like, good relations with at least one country first, so we'll do that. Southern Serbia. Nice replenishment organization. War of Belgian submission. Wow, the Dutch must be really powerful to do that. God dang. Oh, Spain, are you... You got Jacobin rebels. That's cool. Very nice, very nice. Oh, we got some more consciousness. Uh, inf infamy is just a number, my friends. It's just a number. Don't worry about it. Crackdown on communists? Oh, yeah, Cuba? Yeah, sure, why not? It's Cuba. I should have sent another army over here, actually. Hmm. Army risk management. Let's, let's probably do that one first. Uh, suppression? In, in, a ch in that place? Yes, Chihuahua, yes. I love suppression. You died. 30,000 probably isn't enough. Incident in Durango. Suppress this. New store in Las Vegas. Cool. Friedrich Ingos, Angos, nice. Now, give me, we can go to war until August. Give me some time. Uh, colonial discontent. Equitable situation? Now nah, we don't believe in equ equity here. Mm, I want to lower my infant boat. This should, this should go by pretty quickly. Should, should. Should really invest in, in another army here. Oh well, Cheyenne. Should do pretty well with this. We'll see what happens. Maybe it won't go well. You know what? I see an army right there. Let's beat that one up first. Forward. Uh, socialists. Uh, interesting, I'm sure. Look at this farming. You guys are definitely looking a little better. Oh, Belgium went bankrupt. 97. Support the movement. Of course we will. And soon enough, we shall have it. 
There you go, 100%. Now that's what I like to see. Come on over here. Give me one more... Nah, let's go. And I want an Nam. Call it allies. Brazil one. Could probably do that, that's fine. And let's call in our allies. 100. 120. 184. Peru! How do you do? Nice. Oh, yes. Of course, Bolivia. You may gladly have access through here. And, oh, personal memoirs. In 1885, Grant publishes personal memoirs, which were a nearly complete retelling of his life. He wrote the book while suffering from throat cancer in order to try and guarantee his family a living after he died. Universally considered a masterpiece of American letters, Grant's memoirs are distinctive for the directness, clarity, and economy of style. Mark Twain compared it favorably with Kaiser's, Caesar's, Commentaries. The personal memoirs was a smashing success in its time and remains one of the few books continuously in print since the Civil War. It is probably the best book written by an American president. I must have them. I've never read them. Huh. Maybe someday. They're dying a lot slower than I thought they would. Sydney so Webb, so be it we're at war, but you know, every major nation goes at war at some point. Saigon, we still need to build you up. Well, I'll take out Cambodia first. You know what, that's a case. I'm going to spend a little bit more on steel and cement. Nice, a little more organization for armies. Looks pretty good. Oh, good, they showed up. Good. They even have cannons. Oh, God. Which is fine. You know what, let them try that out. Actually, are they defending mountains, grass, and hills? Truly tis. Good. Actually, go, come here first. That's probably be best. Let's come this way. Let them stay there. We're going to siege it out so maybe get some more supplies. Factory throughput. And now we're going to do this. See what we can do. There we go. Now we're just making go bye-bye. We have one less defense. That's okay. And they went bye-bye. Good. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, acquisition of American Vietnam. Of course. Naturally. Oh, this is increased relations with these guys. The Dutch? You really want to beat up on the Belgians, don't you? God dang, son. Ecuador, you're looking pretty good. I could use your own units to, you know, further our war effort, but nah. Don't feel like it. Nice. Army risk management, very good. Let's see, anything for industry here yet? No. I'm going to go with deep defense just so we get more uh, digging cap. It's so good to have on defense. Nice. Well, it's time to do this. New storm buffalo, great. 84% of our population can read. That's not good enough. That's not good. And we have this. Nice. Let's get out of the jungle. Man, I really wish we knew how long this would take. But, you know, it's a Gilded Age. What else do you expect? Hey, look. Some guys are showing up. Wow. I love having... I really love having allies. It's so nice. Oh, my gosh. They all showed up. <sighs> how about a 12-hour workday? Ah, oh, the American workers. Come to America. You will not have a terrible life, probably. You might. You really might. Champasic? What the heck is that? Yeah, we're still making a lot of money. I love it. It's casually going up through Vietnam. Soon to be American territory. So we got Colombia. One of our greatest allies ever. Colombia. And we're just come, coming over here and destroy their little boat thingy. Nice. They're both thingy. <laughs> Colombia is a great nation. Truly a great nation. One of my best allies. Uh, increased relations. That's good. Blow up their boat. Uh, absolutely, Peru. Absolutely. Ecuador is also a great ally, too. If you didn't know. Excelente. They're secondary power. Ooh, I hope they don't become a great power, though. Culture comp. Uh, bide our time. Organize a crackdown? Sure. Sounds like fun. Ah, elections. Hope we get rid of the Democrats here. And move on with our lives. 45 ships. Not bad. Oh, God. Look at the economy. Oh. Or at least the industry. Alright, let's... Actually, are they going to peace out with me? I'll give them a month. Maybe they will. Or maybe not. No, I'm not going to wait. There we go. 
Beautiful. I love America. I love Vietnam. Let's organize Vietnam's production, though. Introducing coffee and large-scale tea cultivation, hey, like what I'm drinking right now, in suitable places like Vietnam will allow us to better take advantage of the potential of Vietnam, increasing our income and leading to more profitable endeavors. Ah, oh, America. I love profits. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, get prestige. Ooh. So production in Dai Nam. Time to take a sip. So, now that Vietnam enjoys much of the Western inventions thanks to the American government, you're welcome, good morning Vietnam, the opportunity to shift its production out of agriculture for the internal markets to an exportation-driven model was put forth by several American companies in D.C. Discussions began with several companies putting forward proposals on what to focus and what to incentivize. From the jungles of Southeast Asia, a new era for agriculture in the Dai Nam provinces are dawning, one where rice and rubber will play a vital role, but one that we can steer in several different directions. Companies know what's best, well, that's a lot of coffee. Iron? Tea? Focus on tea and tobacco? Well, that's not bad. We should focus on cotton? Eh, we already got on co cotton. Coffee's a rare commodity. Everything changes to coffee? Well, we don't need to interfere with the natives. Oh, yes, we do. Mmm, that's an American thing to do. Let's see, so what do we need? Our greatest exports are clothes, fabric, and tobacco. Our greatest imports are tea, fruit, and wool. So if we could reduce the amount of imports of tea that we have, that might be good. What is coffee doing, though, right now? It's in high demand. Needed for a lot of pops. Well, I think we're going to go with the whole companies know what is best to do, because we get tea, we get coffee, tropical wood, and iron. So I think that is the best choice for us. Let's go ahead and lower our military budget. And you know what? Increase spending for that. Increase the spending for that just a little bit too. Nice. Very good, my friends. You have done a great job. America is proud of you all. I hope. Cool, and now you get no navy. Let's go back home. Actually, I'm going to put you in Rosarito. Oh, yeah, how are the uh, beer cuts doing? Ah, more health care. Oh, good, you're done here. Great, Chihuahua. Maybe we can make you a state eventually. Now, let's let lower our infamy a little bit. I think that would be very good to do. There you go. Oh, nice, very nice. Anywhere else that we need? Oh, Cuba, Cuba. Very nice. Hispaniola is taking forever. You guys are getting more soldiers. You guys are getting some more uh, intellectuals, which you probably don't need anymore. Yeah, New York is done. Massachusetts, New England, Hispaniola, Virginia. No, Cuba, North Carolina, Tennessee, Indiana. Illinois, Durango, well, let's put them th throw them somewhere else. You don't need that. Actually, let's look at this. Number of factories in Ohio. You could, hmm. We got some craftsmen in Durango. Ooh, Texas. Well, what if we told them to come to... I'm surprised New York isn't, like, number one. I was going to say New York, but hey, if Ohio wants more craftsmen... Oh, they even need an airplane factory. This is probably a bad idea. Hmm. Actually, let's get some clerics. That might be best to do Ohio clerics. Nah, never mind, that's a bad idea. Just go ahead and do craftsmen. That's good. Nope. You didn't want to know. You broke the alliance earlier, so. What do you expect? What do you expect? Aw, oh, heck yeah, Japan. Oh, yeah. Alright, it's 1887. Good. More army stuff. You definitely need more... Oh, this is very nice. Three, two, two of these guys. You don't need that engineer. You are actually going to come right here because you guys need it. And then you're going to need two of these guys. Not in Vietnam, probably. One, two. And let's get some better work hours. Oh, and we can do some more research. Commerce. Commerce time. Business regulations. Let's get some better input. Now, that's nice. Battle of something. No one cares, though. We are still only 7th in military, which is not great. We're 3rd in prestige and 3rd in that. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Mexico is looking pretty tiny, but that's okay. Pretty. That's pretty okay. Oh, nice. You just killed them off as soon as they try to rebel. The American way. Oh, now you're going to need... Mm, well, since you're here. Nice. Look at all that money we're making today. Just to pay off debt. So that... Oh, man. A lot of socialists there. Fine. We can ally. Get this done. 
by 1888. So actually by this year. Oh, that'd be great. Once we can actually make money, religion is a private matter. No, 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 no. We believe in socialized, complete, making sure that everyone can fully assimilate into our best culture. <gasps> All right, so to those of you who love Socialist America, well, I hope you're happy now. Now we have anti-military, which I really don't like, but we got full citizenship and state capitalism. Perfect. Perfecto, my friendos. Well, black flag army and long Prabang. A split remnant of a bandit group recruited largely from soldiers of ethnic Zhuang background. We crossed the border in 1865 from Guangxi, China, into Upper Tonkin, then part of the Empire of Annam. In 1887, the Black Flag bandits crossed the border of Luang Prabang to ransack and pillage. The small Lao kingdom was unable to defend itself, and since then, the petition for us for more protection. Oh, wait, we get inf we can lower infamy, or we just get this? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, now we have. Oh, we even have Laos now? Oh, yeah. Since we have an army here, we definitely need more soldiers, but what can I build in Vietnam? Good morning, Vietnam. Yes, yes. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Horsey boy. I think that's enough. Awesome. Oh, actually, can I... Oh, I can tax poor people. Thank you. I love the socialist government. I can tax poor people. Socialism works. Ah, oh, I love it. I can lower you by a little bit more. Lower you by a little bit more, too. Oh, we, oh, I'm glad we have no social spending stuff here. And... Oh, American cop... Co guys? Um... Co communists? Guys? What's wrong with you? I mean, we're already one step closer to communism. Is socialism not enough for you? Seriously? Like, bruh, come on. You guys head on down here. Wow, there's a lot of social support down here. Oh my goodness, these armies are looking really bad. Terra bad. Um, if that's the case, I'm just going to put these guys over here and we're going to make just a big old new stack of armies. I never used my suppression points. I never really thought it, that it was a good idea to do that. New York, new thingy, new work. Construction of the Panama Canal has finished, finally! So the canal cut through mountains and had to continually be widened and the mountain slopes reduced to minimize landslides into the canal. Steam shovels have been invented but were still not enough. Our other mechanized and electrical equipment were limited in capabilities and steel equipment m rusted rapidly in tropical climate. Several health risks posed a threat to workers in the mosquito-filled Panamanian jungle, primarily or principally malaria and yellow fever, and claimed thousands of lives. Conditions were downplayed in the U.S. states. To avoid recruitment problems, but the high mortality rate made it difficult to maintain an experienced workforce. Finally, though, in 1888, the Panama Canal was finished and it would be open for business. We build the canal, we get almost 81 prestige, we get precious goods in Balboa. <sighs> I love it. Welcome to America. Finally, it's done. Now, we're probably still... Oh, snipies. Why are you revolting? Why are you revolting? We are socialists. What's your problem? You want rights? No. No! God dang it. Well, looks like you are on hunt for a baby hunt. Oh, I don't want to send those guys. I will gladly send these guys, though. Uh, ships can't really do much about them. I need, I need more armies. Then again, I do have a lot of armies down here. Probably too many armies, to be honest with you. Let's go and send... Jesus Christ, these guys are looking all so incredibly weak. Yeah, come on down here. We'll take you away. Uh, what do we have here, though? Expedition to the Black Hills. Great. I've been there, I think. Dakota Territory has been recognized by our government as belonging to the Sioux. The area has, however, not been prospected for minerals yet, and reports have recently been surfacing that Indians have been extracting enormous amounts of gold from the Hill Range. An able young Lieutenant Colonel, Art 1 George Armstrong Custer, stands ready to be dispatched to the Black Hills to investigate the matter. Ah, nothing's ever going to go wrong with that. Oh, we can build the Titanic. Dreadnoughts, that's cool. God dang, this really sucks. I got some research done. That's good. Oh, it's 1888. That's right. Navy. Anything here? Uh, that can wait. Neoclassical theory. We must. It's new. It's hot. We must well do it. Oh, the Panama Canal. Colonial crisis. Cricket later. Anyone? So we get better import costs, more prestige, and tax. Oh, tariff efficiency. Oh, heck yeah. I'm sending you home. So you can help blow up the enemy armies. Coming to mobile. So under socialism. Hopefully. Oh, we got a lot of prestige. Look at that. Uh, no, we good. Oh, let's do this too. France, France, France. Casually being socialist here. Yeah, people still kind of like us, though. That's good. 
He's in Philadelphia. Oh, France owns Italy. Or is in... Huh. Increase relations. We got good relations. Increase relations. How are our allies? You're you like us quite a bit. Which I enjoy. Yeah, look at look at my pops. It's not doing very well right now. Even if you take DC, like... We're already socialists. How much more socialist do you want to be? Isn't the next logical step just like, communism after socialism? Like, bruh? Oh man, look, my military score is just dropping. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm building up a massive military after we're done here. Just a massive military. I have to. Why are they focusing so hard on the West? Uh, guys, I need you, like, over here. Uh, suppress this, that's fine. Seriously, what are you campaigning for? No, 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 not Texan liberation. No, 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 no. The Pang Can incident. Oh, if you want to read that for Bangkok. Let's just let's see this through. Eh, I could go to war with them, but I'm a little busy right now. First tractor in Panama, cool, very cool. Yeah, make sure we get full support for the military. They need as much support as they can for right now. Yeah, I don't understand, like, I already give you enough, and you still rebel? Like, come on, man. That's not cool. Uh, if that's a case over here, we have a new Vietnamese army, I'm going to send, not these guys, but these guys, to Vietnam to help protect American interests in America. That is a weird statement. The year of abundance, cool, great. Why are you, all right, so we're going to turn even more socialist, they're going to break us for a little bit. That's ridiculous, like... I've already given you enough socialism support. I mean, like, come on, man. Yeah, you might not like the rich people, but that's okay. How many more socialists are gonna rise up? Uh, holy crudderinos. I mean, we've been killing thousands of them by the day. Jeffrey Fo Foster? When I see Foster and socialism, I'm thinking, hmm. Yeah, you are, you're bankrupting us right now, guys. Like, this is not cool. The Mormon Convention, huh? Our path lies in a different direction with our hearts, our faith, and our integrity. May God watch over us and keep us safe in this perilous world. With these words, the leader of the Mormons has declared the formation of the independent state of Deseret, encompassing both Utah and Nevada. They stand ready to resist any attempts making us some force. Oh, hell no. Look at what socialism has brought us. Look at what it has brought us. Death and destruction. Oh, my goodness. Deseret. Oh, I'm going to kill them off. This has definitely turned very interesting into a campaign. Holy cow. Holy crud Reno. Alright, so I need to come over here. And uh, Vietnamese people, uh, please help me out. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy those guys later on. This is ridiculous. This is honestly too ridiculous. Like, oh, we didn't get the right form of socialism. Just be happy with what you have. How are we still not done with this battle yet? Holy crap. Woo! Nice. Romanticism. Uh, reinforcement. Uh, well, you know, let's do that. We almost never do that, so. But you know what? How about we end the episode here? And then we are going to reformulate our plans very, very soon. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we're going to crack down on the Mormons and continue to expand our lands. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.